So, hello everyone, this is uh, video number three. Um, so water, I'd forgotten to mention, I had on the board H2O and four degrees Celsius. That's just to remind you that water is most dense at four degrees Celsius. And that's huge because when water becomes colder between four degrees Celsius and zero degrees Celsius, it will expand. And when water gets warmer from four degrees Celsius upward, it also expands. So at the bottom of an ocean, water is four degrees Celsius. Now that may change depending on pressures and the relationship between pressure and temperature, etc. But the densest part of a lake, like a shallow lake, like a hundred meters, I know it sounds like a lot, but let's say it's 100 meters, the, the lake. The water at the bottom of that lake is four degrees Celsius. That's just the way it is. Uh, above that layer, it's gonna be warmer because the water, as it gets warmer, will rise because it's less dense. Now, specific heat capacity I said was the amount of heat needed to change one gram of material one degree Celsius. Could be one degree Fahrenheit. It could be one Kelvin. The point is this, that it's the amount of energy needed to raise one gram of substance one unit degree, regardless of what that temperature scale is. In science, we always use degree Celsius. So, the specific capacity of water is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. Now, I'm very serious. One of the substances which, with the highest specific capacity is actually water. It's huge. That's why we have hurricanes and weather. Water holds huge amounts of water. I put on the board, the specific heat capacity of iron is 0.45. Well, it's about one tenth, one ninth of water. So water holds almost 10 times more energy than the equivalent mass of iron. Uh, sand, silicon oxide, very low specific heat capacity. Glass is very low, silicon oxide. Water is much greater much greater, and that's it, we're off.